Welcome everybody to the December 2014 Gaming PC Builds of the Month. The last of 2014, might I add. And uh, just on top of that, uh, first I'd like to start off with thanking everybody who's uh, watched the videos throughout the months, who's subscribed, who's the uh, first time viewer. Or if you're a first time viewer, please subscribe. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody because uh, I've really enjoyed doing these quick uh, monthly gaming PC builds every month. Uh, my name is Corey with NoobComputerBuild.com, so please go check me out there. Uh, if this is the first time you're with us here, we do the three builds, the $1,500 build, the $1,000 build, and the $600 build. And just starting last month, I started adding the gaming PC peripheral, con uh, peripheral consideration section where uh, there's some options for keyboards, mice, and monitors. And this month, I've added a third section for that because I kind of had the high-end peripheral section and then kind of the low-budget um, basic hardware section, but then someone kind of mentioned you know, why not have the mid range because some of the stuff I included in the basic stuff wasn't so, so like very, very basic, uh, that it would be more, make more sense to have a mid category there. All right. Without further ado, let's get started, uh, with, uh, the $1,500 build. And here I'm on new, new computer uh, if you come here, you can comment and, uh, I read more about everything I go through here, but I'll just do a quick overview of the hardware, uh, tell you how much it is and a few little tidbits on here and there but if you want to learn more come to the blog or or uh, leave a comment and ask some questions all right so starting with the 1500 hundred dollar build currently at the beginning of december here it's uh december 1st i'm recording this and i will upload the video directly after this um the cost of this build is 1517 dollars overall the hardware did go down from last month uh, not too many extreme changes to this build but i was able to fit in a few things that uh, make it just a little better i guess uh, starting off with the processor, we have the Intel Core i5-4690K for $209.99. That's cheaper than what it was has been uh, for this uh, processor. Uh, cooler, uh, we've upgraded the cooler to a liquid CPU cooler this month uh, with a little extra room and budget uh, for this uh, $99.99. Corsair Hydro Cooler H100i uh, liquid CPU cooler. And then for the motherboard, we have the same as last month. The MSI uh, Z97 Gaming 5 for $144.99. The graphics card, we have the ever so powerful GTX 980. Uh, for the graphics card, we have the ever so powerful uh, EVGA GTX 980, which is one of the more affordable ones right now, uh, which hits the price right on the dot as, uh, as to where the uh, GTX 980 should be at $549.99. This is an extremely powerful gaming card, so uh, highly recommended. Um, for RAM, we have a whole 16 gigabytes of Crucial Ballistic Sports 16 uh, 28 gigabyte stick kit. Um, it has dropped in price. RAM has dropped in price. It was kind of uh, floating all over the pl uh, place in terms of up and ups and downs in terms of RAM pricing in the last quite a few months, actually. And so now it's kind of finally getting down to where it should be. So for $124.99. The hard drive we have is the one terabyte Seagate Barracuda, $49.99. And then a solid state drive on top of that. We have the Samsung 850 Pro, 128 gigabyte. Not the biggest SSD you can get, but it fits nicely into this budget. $96.99. This is the same price right now as the Samsung 840 Pro, which I usually include in the $1,500 build. But this one here has uh, faster read-write speeds um, than the 840 Pro. So, you know, might as well get this over, over and above it, uh, over and above the 840 Pro. Uh, for the power supply, we have this EVGA Supernova 750G2 series uh, PSU, which is a highly, re I highly recommend this power supply. It was a little cheaper last month. I think it, I think it was around $114, but it is $123 right now. So it could drop in price as the month goes on. But I would still recommend this uh, power supply as it is. Uh, and for the computer case this month, no new notable computer cases released this month. But this one is very well priced for what you get, this Fantech Entho Pro. Uh, it's new within the last year, so about, I don't know, I want to guess half a year old now. It's a full tower chassis and only you know, a cent under $100, so around $100. Uh, and this is the white version. It comes in black as well uh, for $99.99, and it's the windowed version. And you'll see in the $1,000 build in a second that I include the exact same case, but it's cheaper. So you could consider the cheaper version without the window uh, if you want to save a few bucks and the window doesn't really matter to you. And then finally, the, the optical drive we have is for $17.99, this basic LG Electronics optical drive, and this total comes up to $1,517. Now for the uh, the alternatives uh, for or upgrade suggestions for the $1,500 build to have a little more to spend or you want to kind of throw in upgrades in the future. 
Uh, you could go with an i7 4790K processor. You do a little more than gaming or something more than that, or you have a game in mind that you know uh, is a little, little more optimized for an i7 processor. You can go with this. It is cheaper as well right now. It was a huge price drop from last month uh, to $289.99. And then you could really go insane with your graphics, just get another GTX 980 uh, and SLI that. So right now that card is $549.99. Add two, that would be $1,099.98 for a lot of money for our graphics but uh you'd get a lot of juice out of that i suppose uh, depending on what you want to do with it um but if you want just another alternative single kind of a single uh cp or gpu sorry you can go with this msi uh radeon uh r9 295x2 so it has two gpus on this C uh, on this graphics card here and this is at a thousand dollars on the dot uh but, you know, for $100 more, you could get quite a bit more power with two GTX 980s and SLI. As well, if you want to kind of bump up your solid state drive storage and bump it up from that 128 gigabytes, you can go with the super fast one terabyte SSD. So that's crazy, but $559.99 as well. They come in other sizes as well, but I just kind of went all out with the suggestion here. Now, moving on to the $1,000 gaming PC build. So it comes out to $1,003 currently beginning of December processor Intel Core i5 4690k 209.99 uh, the CPU cooler is the cooler master hyper 212 Evo the infamous hyper 12 Evo 29.99 motherboard we have the Asus Z97 uh, a uh, motherboard 124.99 uh, which it's dropped in price a little bit too I think uh, graphics card we have the GTX 970 at where it should be, a little under where it should be, so that's good. The Zotac version that you see here, uh, for $327.85. RAM, we have eight gigabytes of Crucial Ballistic Sports for $69.99. A one terabyte Seagate Barracuda, $49.99. There's no SSD included. There is an SSD included in the, the alternative section, but uh, the budget didn't allow for the SSD here. You could swap out, if you just wanted to go with purely an SSD, you could swap out the Seagate Barracuda, save 50 bucks, and just go with kind of a 128 gigabyte, uh, 60 to $100 SSD if you wanted. Uh, power supply, EVGA Supernova, 650 watt G1 series for $79.30. Uh, computer case, we have the, the same one, uh, if you noticed, in the $1,500 build, the Fantech Ento Pro. I decided to go with the same one just to kind of show that you could save even with little minimalistic type things such as the window on the side. So uh, for $100, you can get the white or black Fantech Antho Pro full tower case with the window on the side, or you can go windowless and go get this for $89.49. Uh, and for the optical drive, this LG Electronics optical drive for $17.99 and for a total $1,003.83. Now for the alternatives or upgrade suggestions for the $1,000 build, um, you can add an SSD drive, same one as the $1,500 build, Samsung 850 Pro, 128 gigabyte, $96.99. Uh, you could SLI the GTX 970, the Zotac, for another $329.99. Or if you need a ton of hard drive space, you could go with, for not that much more, a 2 terabyte Seagate Barracuda for $69.99. Or alternatively, I just put another case here for perhaps any enthusiast. It's, it's kind of a newer... Uh, enthusiast mid-tower PC case with a fully modular design so you can kind of customize it the way you want uh, everything to go in there uh, and this is $109.99 so this Thermaltake V51 uh, PC case. Now for the final build the $600 gaming PC build for a flat $599 right now so right on the dot minus a <laughs> dollar um, we have the same processor as usual but you may notice if you've been uh, kind of keeping up to date with uh, these builds in particular, uh, the AMD FX 6300. So it's easily overclockable, but it has gone down in price for quite a bit to $89.99. So it's a great purchase right now. Um, then the motherboard, we have this 5499 gigabyte GA78 LMT uh, basic motherboard. It's a micro ATX small motherboard. So it's a, will make for a nice compact build. Other uh, graphics card, we have the gigabyte AMD Radeon R9 280, which is a fantastic card for this build. Uh, and it'll allow you to get a lot of performance out of such a budget build, such a low budget build uh, for $600. So 100, and this comes out to $199.99. We have eight gigabytes Crucial Ballistic Sport 7424, uh, one terabyte Seagate Barracuda hard drive, 
And then we have a 600 watt Corsair Builder Series power supply for only $62. And then the computer case, uh, because uh, the processor is a little less and the hardware overall is a little, little less, we could include a kind of a more attractive uh, PC case this month. And if you like, you could save, still save money if you're just really trying to budget and go with kind of the previous recommendations if you go back in the builds. But this one for $49.99 is a good uh, micro ATX case, the Cooler Master N200. It's a mini tower case, so it'll fit the micro ATX motherboard nicely and fit the graphics card nicely as well, which uh, you kind of got to check sometimes with the smaller cases that the graphics card length will fit. Uh, so yeah, so $49.99 for that. Uh, the optical drive we have here is the same as all. Uh, the LG Electronics Optical Drive 1799. Just go with the cheapest one if you find another one, which would be just fine. And so for a total of $599.18, you can uh, build this uh, $600 gaming PC build. Now for the upgrade, suggestions or alternatives for this one. The processor, like I said, the FX6300 went down in price. So did this 8-core FX8320, $114.99. So it's actually pretty much at the price as what the FX6300 was like two months ago. So if you wanted to go with this upgrade here, you could easily do that. Uh, if you wanted a different PC case uh, that's a little cheaper, this one's kind of nice too, for especially for so cheap, the Fractal Design uh, 1000 that you see here. It's also a micro ATX case that will fit everything nicely. Or if you want more hard drive space, two, by, two terabyte Seagate Barracuda for $69.99. If you do want to add kind of a budget SSD here uh, for only $62.99, uh, it's kind of one of the better uh, purchases for your money, uh, I suppose. Not the fastest solid state drive, but this crucial M500 uh, 120, gig 120 gigabyte card uh, would fit very nicely. And now final, finally here, uh, we're done with the builds, but I do have the, perf the peripheral considerations, the three categories. So we'll start with the higher end. I'll go through these quickly. If you have any questions for more or have any suggestions, you can leave those in the comments as well for uh, other people. By no means is this a comprehensive list or the best of the best and everything, but it's kind of the overall good best for each kind of category. And it might not be for everybody, but uh, nevertheless. So for the higher end gaming PC peripherals, the keyboard we have here is a mechanical keyboard, this Corsair Vengeance K70 uh, RGB uh, lit keyboard for $150.60. Uh, they also have ones that light and all, no, oh no, sorry, not this one, <laughs> I'm thinking of a different one, but no, this one's a mechanical keyboard, so it makes a nice clicky sounds. Uh, I, I like them for gaming, so it's uh, this is a good one here, so $150.60. Uh, the mouse, this Logitech G502 Proteus uh, is a good mouse for $59.99. That's kind of a good all-around mouse for whatever type of gamer you are. Um, and then the monitor here, which would fit very nicely with the $1,500 build, I, I think, is a 27-inch Asus PV278Q, and it is 2560 by 1440 resolution, which is really high, really nice, uh, and would fit very nicely with the $1,500 build for gaming, in my opinion. So this comes up to $479.48. All right, so the new uh, kind of... The, the new category we have for the peripheral section of this month is the mid-range section, and that's because not all the, the lower-end stuff, not or not lower-end stuff, but the basic P PC peripherals that I did last month uh, weren't so basic. And so we've added a mid-range section here, and then we'll have the basic below for those that just need to get up and running. Um, or gaming, or it doesn't really matter to you. So it doesn't, you know, a lot of the time it doesn't really matter too, too much, but... Here we'll go with the keyboard. We have this Razer Black Widow Ultimate 214 Elite Mechanical Gaming Keyboard for $89.99. It has a nice green glow. It's a great keyboard. Uh, the most we have for the mid-range uh, stuff is this Logitech G302. I don't even know how to pronounce that. It's a Daddy Alias Prime <laughs> MOBA gaming mouse for $48.37. It's a very nice sleek mouse. Uh, and then the monitor we have here is kind of a good all-around monitor for pretty much any of the builds here. So it's a 24-inch Asus vg248 qe 1920 by 1080 monitor it has a very nice refresh rate at a hundred uh at one millisecond pixel response time there and then also 144 hertz refresh rate which is very quick very nicely and so everything will run very quick and smooth uh smoothly on the screen so uh, an overall great monitor for 249.99 now going with the basic pc peripherals here um they're not the cheapest of the cheap, so I try to include kind of basic gaming PC peripherals. So you can get, you get even more basic than this. You can get a $12 uh, whatever keyboard, <laughs> if you like, if that's fine with you. 
Uh, but here we have this uh, Microsoft Sidewinder X4 keyboard for $58.56. So it's one of the kind of cheaper gaming specific keyboards that uh, is very well rated. So, and then now moving on, we have for a mouse, this is a kind of a cheaper gaming mouse, this Rocat Lua tri-button gaming mouse. So it's a gaming mouse, but not a basic mouse. So $26.99. And then, and I did, last month I included a wireless mouse in the basic PC peripherals. But like someone mentioned, uh, the ro that, uh, let's start again. But like someone mentioned, uh, wireless mice aren't exactly the best for gaming, especially when they have low latency times and stuff like that. So, And then finally, we have this monitor here. It's also a 1920 by 1080 monitor, but it's cheaper. Uh, it doesn't have quite the high as high as refresh rates as the kind of the one that's included in the mid-range stuff, but it's still a good monitor. And for $171.18, a great buy. So that does it for this month uh, for the peripheral section. Uh, finally, but not least, there's no OSs included in, in the kind of the builds above. So if you don't have an OS, uh, I would recommend you get one because you need one. Um, and here are the suggestions I have here. So if you want Windows 8.1, I don't have any kind of qualms about any of these. So go with whatever you want or whatever you think you like the best. So we have Windows 8.1 here, $92. Windows 7, home premium, 64-bit um, version. So 9588. And then kind of two free alternatives here. Uh, we have Ubuntu, which is free. You can just go to the site here. It's linked on my uh, on uh, newcomputerbuild.com here. Um, or also the Steam OS, it's in beta right now, but it won't be in beta forever. Um, so you can try that out, download that if you want to kind of build a Steam box or use the Steam OS uh, besides Windows. Go with that too, so try that out, it's free. Um, by all means, it's up to you. But that does it for this month. I would like to wish everybody a happy holidays, happy new year, and until next month, I'll see you then. And remember all the hardware is linked into uh, the description below, uh, as well all the links to the blog, and that's pretty much it. Leave all the comments or questions you have in the comment section or come to the site and leave them there. Thank you.